You're watching 11 Alive Morning News. 11 minutes of nonstop news starts now. Heading into your July 4th weekend, we are kicking off your 11 minutes of nonstop news with weather and your travel forecast. Yeah, both of them you need to be aware of. Chesley, we start with a real muggy morning. Yes, we do. And clouds are in place, folks. No, well, not a lot of rain out there. We got a few sprinkles around, but we'll see more develop once we get toward mid morning into early afternoon. Yeah, more widespread this afternoon. Hour by hour forecast shows temperatures starting off in the 70s. We'll hit the 80s by about noon today with those showers developing. There'll be a few embedded thunderstorms and a few of those starting after 2 o'clock this afternoon. Going to give it a 50% chance for the rain. High today of 85. That high temperature will be going up through the weekend, but the rain chance continuing. We'll have more details on that in the full forecast coming up. People are hitting the road and the TSA line. Today is expected to be one of the busiest for Atlanta's airport. The question is, can they handle all of those passengers? Jerry Carnes is taking a live look for us. Oh, good morning. We're going to show you what we have been seeing all morning long here at the main security checkpoint. Quite a crowded checkpoint indeed. As a fact, you can see that the line stretches all the way back to the atrium. The wait to get through the security checkpoint here at least 20 minutes, maybe 25 or 30 minutes to get through all of this. They're moving it through quite efficiently, but just such a crowd of people here that they have to occasionally divert folks off to the north checkpoint. Only 18 cancellations here impacting Hartsfield Jackson at this hour, so not the same situation so far that we saw a couple of weeks ago when uh, every airport across the country was experiencing some sort of delay cancellation impact. But right now, just the wait at the security line, that is the big deal. So if you've got a flight today, get here early. All right, at least that line is moving, Jerry. Thank you. Sticking with your 11 minutes of nonstop news, here's what's happening now. Prosecutors could decide to drop Tex McIver's case now that the Georgia Supreme Court overturned his felony murder conviction. The reason is simple math. McIver was sentenced to life in prison without parole after he was convicted of killing his wife, Diane, in 2016. He has served nearly five years behind bars, but the Supreme Court says the jury should have been too allowed to consider an involuntary manslaughter charge, which has a maximum sentence of only a year in prison, less than the time he's already served. McIver's attorney says he will try to get him out as soon as possible. The Madison County Sheriff's Office is calling in state investigators after a one-year-old child died inside a hot car in a Walgreens parking lot. The Sheriff's Office says the mother left the child in the car for about three to four hours while the temperature in that car was more than 100 degrees. She worked at the store. So far, investigators have not announced any charges. And remembering the powerful voice that graced the Braves PA system for 15 years, Casey Motter died in his sleep at the age of 53. In a tribute posted on Twitter, the Braves called Motter the voice of Truist Park. He was also the Blue Dragons announcer for Ron Clark Academy. As a lifelong Braves fan, Motter once said, announcing the Braves World Series win was a dream come true. As we get ready for 4th of July cookouts, the CDC is warning us about a deadly bacteria found in food. People in 10 states have gotten sick with listeria infections. That includes at least one person in Georgia. Right now, the CDC says it doesn't know what food is causing the outbreak, but everyone who's gotten sick is either from Florida or Georgia and they have traveled recently too. As we head into the holiday weekend, we want to make sure you're celebrating safely, especially when it comes to fireworks. They should only be handled by adults. Also remember, fireworks, they're explosive, so you could get burned, even lose a finger or break a bone. And we know a lot of you are going to be out there being the grill master. We talked to South Fulton Fire on how you can stay safe. We encourage people to make sure that they're wearing the proper attire while they're grilling. And while they're grilling, not to leave the grill by itself and make sure that it's clear of animals, it's clear of children, and clear of anyone who may be celebrating with some spirits. Uh-huh, the spirits really change the situation. Fire Captain Eric Jackson also says, make sure you are in an open area when you are playing Chef for the Fourth ahead this morning on today. Some more tips to keep you safe while you're lighting up the night. And now your time is coming up on 656. Here's a look at what you need to know before you head out the door this morning. President Biden is meeting with governors who moved to support abortion rights following the Supreme Court's decision to overturn Roe v. Wade. On Thursday, the president said he's behind changing Senate filibuster rules, which could make it easier to pass laws to protect a woman's right to choose. WNBA star Brittany Griner's trial starts today, more than 130 days after she was arrested in Russia. Officials accused Griner of trying 
trying to smuggle cannabis oil through the airport. The charge carries a sentence of up to 10 years. The U.S. says Griner is being wrongfully detained. A hearing is scheduled for today for attorneys trying to stop subpoenas for Georgia state legislators in the Fulton County special grand jury. This is tied to the investigation into whether former President Donald Trump tried to overturn Georgia's 2020 election results. We know State Senator William Ligon and Lieutenant Governor Jeff Duncan are listed in those subpoenas. As millions take to the skies, the world's busiest airport is reminding you, leave your guns at home, please. Atlanta Mayor Andre Dickens and district attorneys from Fulton and Clayton will join airport officials today to remind travelers that certain items cannot pass through TSA. By noon today, we'll be looking at uh, showers developing in the area. Temperatures will be close to 80 degrees. You're not going to see much in the way of sunshine as we'll have mostly cloudy skies out there. 3 o'clock this afternoon, we're looking at 83. On our way to 85 for an afternoon high, a couple of thunderstorms will be in, embedded in a few of those showers. That means it's going to be some brief heavy downpours on you if you're going to be out and about. Carry the umbrella with you. You're going to need that at least through early evening. By 6 o'clock, we're down to 83 degrees. Uh, we should see those showers diminish after 8 o'clock tonight. It is almost time for the world's largest 10K. About 50,000 people will run the AJC Peachtree Road Race on Monday, July 4th, and we'll have live coverage of it all. Aisha and I will be at the start line. <laughs> Crash will be everywhere. Mm -hmm. And Chesley at Cardiac Hill. Look at this dude. What are you thinking? Look at this dude. <laughs> already. Already getting started. Really? Where, I, did, where did you even get that? I, 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 my part of my toy chest. <laughs> <laughs>